Hello everybody, my name is Thor Young, I'm a moderator of Bear Bull Traders, and I would like to do a recap for you on my trades today. I traded two tickers today, Apple and Baba, both have fresh catalysts, both have fresh news going on, so they're both right at the top of our watch list. As always, I'd like to thank Carlos and Norm for the amazing watch lists they provide for us every day. Guys, gals, if you are not checking out the pre-market show with bearable traders you are missing out on some killer killer knowledge from these guys so i'm going to go through my trades here for you the main thing i want to talk about today is levels levels and levels um i, I really like the levels carlos set out some good ones for us today and sometimes it's just as simple as, as getting the right ones and looking for the volume response to it so my first trade is going to be on Apple. Um, I actually took Apple here in the pre-market above R4, looking for an R4 breakout. I got a really nice partial here. We set pre-market high, and then I got a, a little bit of an add here. We got a partial, and then I stopped out here at break even on my remaining trades, and it bounced off of R4 and just took off. Unfortunately, I couldn't do much with that trade at the time because I was in another trade on Baba. So on Baba, you can see here, we pulled back to um, lost S2, and then we held above S3, which this gets into a buying range for me in the Camarilla points. So as you can see here, we threw this hammer here. A little hard to tell because of the time period, but there was actually a pretty good amount of volume for pre-market on that hammer. Um, and then I went ahead and went long at the new high, and I got a great opening breakup on BABA. BABA came back in here and stopped me out, but then I got back long again when it held and the bid stepped up. Now, when I say the bid steps up, what I mean is you came down to a specific level. When it hit that level, you could see the bid respond um, to the price action. You could actually see on the time and sales or the tape, you could actually see large orders coming through at that level. They were coming in right at the price. So, you know, these weren't low ball offers. They were really stepping in. And then once we made a new high, I went ahead and went long with that as we were confirming we were going to move up. And I got a great move on BABA. I tried to do a little add on it and then one more entry, but eventually got stopped out. And then after that, it hasn't done a whole lot for the rest of the day. Basically, once it did that, it's more or less just been chopping here. So back to Apple. So after I had missed this move on Apple, I knew it was just a matter of time. Um, and I really, um, oh, hold on a second. I need to take a little partial here. Yeah. Um, I really wanted to wait and get a really solid entry on Apple. So for me, it was about waiting for the right level. Now, my favorite levels that I use on almost a daily basis, and I'm not talking about the Camarilla pivots. I do love them and I use them a lot, but really major levels that you can trade off of intraday very easily are yesterday and the previous days. So yesterday and yesterday, yesterday's high lows, open and closes, all of those. So that provides you basically eight levels every single day and then pre-market high and pre-market low. Between those 10 levels, you pretty have pretty much have almost everything you need through all of those. So often you can spend a lot of time going through daily uh, charts and going through all these different things. And that can be helpful, especially if you're in a critical area. But in reality, you know, if the stock is in play, it's going to tell most of what you need to know right in the pre-market. So on Apple here, as you can remember, I was trading into pre-market and it set pre-market high. One thing I noticed was we struggled with pre-market high when we came through it before, and then we, we engulfed as we broke through it. So I recognize that as being a strong bid area that really stepped up, and if the price comes back to there, that's where I'm going to be looking to catch my bounce. So as you can see here, the price fell off, and then it did a nice little waterfall, but something really, really stuck out to me. We had this big price drop here, but what happened? We had a massive deviation in ATR. Now, the average uh, range on this stock, when it moves through there, I'm using a time period here. You can see it on my um, volume chart here. Oh, sorry, ATR, right, which is the average true range. I'm just using a period of one. And what that shows me is in comparison to prior candles, if it holds or no, how exaggerated the movement is. When we're in VPA, we're looking for anomalies. Right, And having a candle move this far, but moving with such little volume is an anomaly and something to be paid attention to. So sure enough, it came down in on that deviation in volume there, smacked right into pre-market high, threw in decision, and then made a new high. 
I went long with that very easily. I could see the bid coming up into it. I liked the bounce off of the level. And most importantly, I had a razor clear risk versus reward. One thing I really like with trades that I'm taking is if I'm going long, I like knowing exactly when I'm going to get out. So you can see with this entry here, there's not a lot of room uh, to guess which one way or the other, right? I know if I get in here, I, I'm going to want to get out right there. So I was able to run about a, a less than 15 cent. I think it was about a 12 cent stop on this one. And so my first partial was a 3R, 4R, and 5Rs. I mean, really strong move on Apple. And then naturally, since we managed to get ourselves into a trend continuation on it, we actually have been holding it for a little bit longer. And you can see here, I got a really solid partial. We consolidated on VPOC here. So I added there, got some partials, add a little bit more. My average price after this entry was at 134.23. So when I added here, my average price, I raised it up to the loss of 135.48. Give me a little bit of space. And then this average, as you can see here by my out order averaged me up to just shy of 136 now that I've seen 136 uh, hold this many times. So those are my trades for the day. Um, we're uh, still pushing up on Apple. We had a lot of volume coming in here, but uh, not a climactic amount. So I'm still hoping we're going to have one more good push in this thing up to 134. But otherwise, that is my positions for today. I hope everybody had an awesome day trading as well as I did. Um, special shout out to Brian Pezum. Fun trading the open with you as always. Good, sir. And I will see everybody on tomorrow. As always, keep it green.